Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Um, today we've got a bowl from the Harbour Brewing Company and this is their Cornish Helles Lager. Coming in at 4.3% ABV. This is a nice uh, 660ml bottle um, purchased out of Morrison's. Um, I can't remember how much because um, my mate got me a load of stuff from him because I don't get to go over to the local branch that often he just pops in so oh, do you want any of this that sort of thing I think he paid two quid for it I think it might have been on offer or something I've had it a little while does he want to focus? obviously not I don't know it's not focusing but whatever there's the crown um, this is one awards um, it say this multi award winning Hellas Lager is brewed with um, Noble Hops, so yeah, SARS Noble Hops, so as you expect. So, yeah, let's give it a crack open then. Um, and it's been voted uh, the number one la of the UK craft lagers, so. Out of quite a few, um, so yeah, just gone for a small glass here, half a pint. So, Hellis Lager, Hell Lager, whatever you want to call it, Pale Lager in German. So, as you expect. Looking at it, it's a one finger, pure white hair, gentle carbonation running up through the beer, very clean looking, uh, crisp, light kind of uh, straw colour. Let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Yeah, quite nice actually. Nice um, light kind of um, lemon peel I'd say on this one. sort of lemongrass but it has got a nice malt background going on as well a little bit bready bready crust quite vibrant quite light a little bit zippy it reminds me a little bit of um, a lager top it's got a lager top type aroma to it well, obviously it's not but that's what it reminds me of Smells quite pleasant. Let's have a go at it then. Cheers. Straight out of the fridge, it's quite cold. I thought two quid was an absolute bargain. For a 660ml bottle of beer, it's pretty good if you ask me. I love this quality. It's a very clean, quite sharp actually. Very refreshing, a good palate cleansing beer. Easy drinking. Carbonation is not over the top that you get in some um, mainstream lagers it's a little bit less in that regard which is a good thing because carbonation is what does you with lagers or it did with me when I was a like proper session lager drinker kind of back in the day it wasn't the ABV that got me I didn't realize at the time you, you know you think oh you can't handle this drink it's like mm, it's it's not you should replace that with you can't handle your carbonation some people can I never could people used to neck them and all that down it down it and all that sort of thing I I, I can do it I couldn't do it with a pint of lemonade so you know it's not it's not the beer it's just the, the whole fizziness of it all I can neck a pint of water you know Back to this though. Yeah, 
I mean, it's it's got some. Um, there's a little bit of uh, hop hop uh, oiliness in it. It's, it's it's very minimal, of course. A touch of spice there. Maybe probably just white pepper, but very minimal compared to some other, say, German authentic um, Rheinheinsgebot, that word, uh, lagers. It, this is um, not quite in that sort of level. There's not quite so much of that bready spiciness. Um, I just noticed then that they're saying that they originally brewed it at 4.5% and reduced it to 43 for whatever reason. It's probably, I don't know if it's a tax thing or what, I don't know. Whatever, you're not really going to notice 0.2% are you really, so. But yeah, very light, very, it's very lemony. I'm surprised how many, uh, how many lemons, how, how much um, a lemon kind of feel there is to this beer. But as you can see, the carbonation is... Uh, there we go. Can you see it? There we go. It's really kind of a lot slower in carbonation than, as I've said, than, than your mainstream lagers. Um, in terms of a rating, then, get the rest of this in or not? Not quite. A little hiss, then. Still got a bit of carbonation in the bottle. Yeah, it's not too bad. Very easy to drink, it's quite a mellow lager. Um, it's gentle. It's it's not so... Uh, it doesn't really leave anything on the palate though for me. Some lagers they can, especially as I said the German ones keep harping back on. But this is a very well made lager without the... Um, Oh mate, excuse me. I don't know if that come up on. It would, it would definitely would have done, but um, I, I really think you could drink a lot of this just because the carbonation is quite, pitched quite well. Um, easy drinking. Not so kind of. Um, it's gentle. It's playful. It's approachable. And a big bottle like this as well, not a problem at all. No hint at the ABV, you're not really going to get that. Um, body wise, it's like a lower end of a medium. You know, it's just one of them beers that you just sit back and you don't really think about too much. Um, but it's very lemony, lemongrass, lemon rinds, a little bit of that noble hop character in the beer a little bit kind of almost like slightly oily grassy um, a little bit of that kind of uh, white bread crust going on in there but very low in spice or white pepper although there's a hint there but much lower than, than others um, but overall a very nice beer easy drinking um, and I'd be very happy if I went to well in normal times went to a, a friend's barbecue and say there you go have some of that be like yeah I'd be quite happy with that to be honest with you um, and a bottle like this I, you know I could probably put a few of them away over a course of a few hours you know uh, just chilling out nice bit of barbecue food out in the sun yeah yeah it's one of them one of them beers um, and again I'd probably try it on draft if if the, if the actual uh, Depending on what else was on, of course, it's always down to what what's on all the time. But if it was there, and you know, I fancy the lager to start with, I'd go. I'd get on that. I, you know, I'd have half or whatever. Um, so in terms of rating, then it's a steady beer. It's for me. It's um, trying to give a, a rating on on certainly on lagers. I feel I'm a little bit more down the path than I was say a few months ago. Um, just having reviewing a few. 
So it gives you more of a, a bearing on, on, on what the style is about and all that sort of thing. Which is good, you know, for myself as, as well as putting it out there. Um, I think there is better ones out there. Um, but this is steady. I'm still going to give this a 7 out of 10, so it's a 3.5 on the untapped scale. It's a, it's a, it's a decent Hellis lager um, out of Cornwall, down in uh, the southwest of the UK. So, Harbour Brewing Company's Cornish Hellis lager gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. Um, do check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you've got a Morrison's near you where this beer is available. Over to Untap then, this has had 1,985 total check-ins. It's had 20 in the last 30 days, so you, you can tell that we're definitely in that autumn period now. Where I'd probably, if you went back a few months, say August, that would be a hell of a lot higher per 30 days than the 20 there. 1,709 total check-ins of this beer with a rating then, and it's coming in at 3.38. It's probably around about where it is. I'm giving this a, a 3.5, which is a 7 out of 10. It's between a 6.5 and, and a 7 out of 10. So, a decent beer. Um, but yeah, go and check it out for yourself if you can. So, there we go. I'll show it again. Harbour Brewing Company. They're out of North Cornwall, down in the southwest of England. So, Check out the playlist for the brewery down below. I've had a, I've had a fair, fair few from them. Not all, not everything, of course. You, you never you never can. But um, I've had a fair few from them. Been going for quite a while. I've had some some of their earlier stuff, like their IPA. I think was their their first beer I reviewed about five years ago. Um, so yeah, check out the playlist down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you're all keeping safe out there. Please subscribe if you're new. Give us a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers then.